there's no getting around it. If you're building a Go application, you're going to have dependencies. A logger, a database, maybe an email client, probably more. Actually, definitely more. And at some point, the question isn't how can I avoid dependencies, it's more like how do I pass them around in a way that won't make future me want to punch current me in the face. So today we're going to look at two common ways of passing dependencies in Go. Wrapping everything into a single struct, aka the container, and then use it as a method receiver, and passing dependencies one by one explicitly. Each approach has its strengths and weaknesses, and in this video we'll look at both. Where they shine, where they suck, and how to choose one that makes sense for you. Alright, for the first approach we make a big ol' abstract and shove all of our dependencies into it. Logger, mailer, post store, blob storage, you name it. Now we can use the app as a receiver for handlers, middleware, helper functions, and so on. And because app is the receiver, boom, anything inside it is fair game. Need the post store, it's there. Need to send an email, it's there. Need to upload a file, also there. You get the idea, everything we could ever need lives inside the abstract. But here's the problem. Look at this function signature. What do you see? Nothing, and that's the problem. Yeah, it looks clean, but it doesn't tell you anything about its dependencies. Is it using the logger, the mailer, the blob storage? No idea. You have to read the entire function just to find out. And testing also gets a bit tricky. Say you want to test the handler. You only care about post and mailer, so you fake them. And sure, you can leave the other fields out, go lets you do that, but that's also a trap. Because if you forget to add a dependency that gets used later, like the logger, you won't know until the test crashes with a nil panic. If those dependencies were explicit parameters, the compiler would catch that instantly and you'd see warnings all over the place in your editor. So yeah, using a dependency container is super clean. But the price for that cleanliness is that you don't really have a clear view of what dependencies are being used and when. Now, time for the second approach, passing dependencies explicitly. Instead of having a big container, you just give each function whatever it needs, nothing more. Let's say we have the same handle store post function that creates a post and sends an email. So as dependencies, we only need the post store and the mailer. So this function is longer, sure, we've got more parameters, but now anyone looking at this knows exactly what dependencies are used. There's no guessing, no magic, just a clear, honest function signature. And because the dependencies are explicit, if you do decide to use something new, like the logger, you have to pass it in. There's no hidden wiring, no surprises, nothing like that. As for the downside, boilerplate. You'll see functions with 3, 4, 5 parameters, often the same ones repeated. It can get very noisy. Which brings us to the real question. Which approach should you use? If you value cleanliness, the app container might be your best friend. It's easy to wire things up and everything is conveniently in one place. If you're a control freak who wants to know exactly what's being used and where, explicit dependencies will give you that clarity. It's noisier for sure, but at least you know exactly what's required. The important thing to remember is, whatever you choose, if you ever find future you angry at current you, well, at least you'll know who to blame. 